Okay. Yeah, okay, so we were talking about the duck. I'm going to have to drink a bit. The duck tour. So I said, can you name walk the, the city that you're about to go? Oh, you wow. said, no, I'd have to look it on my own. No, well, cities, I can tell you, but I have to think about the state thing. Honestly, a, a lot of, like I said, a lot you of You have to think was, about the state thing of like booking the city? Yes, we kind of don't. Really? <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I mean, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll quiz you on this. I'll name uh, a town that I saw the day in, you tell me the state that it's in. All right, there you go. Alpine Valley. I have no idea. Colorado? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay. Well, takes see, you're a not as dumb as you thought you were. No, but it takes a minute to think about it, though. I'll find out. All right, all right. You made your point. And, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. But, but no, either way, uh, uh, in response to the question, uh, Miami, back then, I seen a bunch of shows at the old Miami Arena, which they, they bulldozed, and it's completely gone now to make way for another arena two blocks away that's Pretty much the same thing. Right. Yeah. Only it's further away from the black area. So, anyhow, we saw them there at the Miami Arena many times. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know. But it was, you know, the the Miami Arena was a beautiful place because it was they they played there a bunch of times, and there was, you know. You know the parking lot outside, and sure. there's a you know, and and there's a bunch of you know you know rich white hippies you know on trust funds and stuff, and and a lot of them were Jewish. I don't know whatever that means, but I mean they uh they would be boogieing around in the parking lot, and it's just swarmed with black people looking for spare change and stuff. And I think that's why they tore it down. But anyhow, we saw them there a bunch, and I digress. And so you did the East Coast? Yes. We went Miami, Orlando sometimes, Atlanta, and then it would be, the next one up would be uh, New Jersey, uh, uh, or no, Carolina, I'm sorry, no, 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 they, in the most times they didn't hit that. They would hit, they did stadium in the summer, like they were going, it was, it was uh, all the stadium shows. So, uh. They, at, that, at that point, it usually would, it, you know, the Omni in Atlanta, and then it went up to D.C. where they played RFK, and then it was up to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, New Jersey where they played Giant Stadium. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, Giant Stadium. And then there's Foxborough, Massachusetts, and... I want to say, oh, wow, I forget, actually. Okay, from there, I get the no, point. No, actually, no, from there, after they got done with the, the eastern seaboard and they hit the north part with Massachusetts, where they would go was Deer Creek, Indiana. And then they would go from Deer Creek to Alpine Valley. And that, and they would go from, Al, uh, from Alpine Valley, they would hit Colorado, and they generally be Red Rocks, which is a man place to see the dead. Now, Andrew, did you um, go on tour with the dead with John? I went in Orlando. I went to the Orlando show. Yeah, he was. We, uh, and I went with him to the Miami show. A couple of Miami shows. Yeah. Because we need you. Because woke up our special guest. Yeah. And, okay, uh, so you did, a you did do a couple of dead shows. Uh, yeah, remember that time we went with... Uh, Absolutely. I, we well, shared Denise, a hotel room. Denise was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Denise and John. Rest, uh, rest and Denise died just a couple months ago. Yeah, on December 30th, 2016. Yeah. R.I.P. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I brought that beer, that that uh, that uh tanker, the beer that I made at my house. Well, yeah, dude, and it well, made Russell Kelly. It made 83, Russell. 84, something like that. So you knew, you knew John and you knew John in the 80s. And 80s. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and we and, went. And, and we went to Orlando. Orlando. How did you? How did you meet Tom? Through Chris and Tom Roman. Tom Roman um, lived in South Miami, and he was friends with Chris and uh, and Russell Kelly, who also lived in South Miami at his mother's house. Uh, really nice place. They made uh, they made a bunch.
bunch of mansions on the property. It was really cool. I uh, had that stone house. Remember the, st the old stone house? Oh, man, that was awesome. Yeah, and John original, Russell would go there, and, and, and you guys awesome. would go there and hang out. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And visit Russell and Doug, Doug Kelly also. Yeah. So, so, you were just, so you were interviewed yeah. by, per by personal by personal friends. Yeah. Well, everybody knows and Chris somebody. went to school with them. Chris went to school, mean. right. You both went to a high school? A high school, hell, uh, elementary school. <laughs> Which one was We that? met, actually, the, uh, the origin would be in the summer of 1975 when we're between uh, second and third grade. We're seven years old, going on eight. And we met, and... I remember I, I really liked John a lot because he was a cool guy, of course, and then there was the fact that he could, that summer, the, the movie Jaws came out, and they had this iconic movie poster where the big old sharks coming up underneath the, and the, the naked girl swimming on the surface of the water, and he could draw that perfectly, and therefore I was fascinated. Do you have a favorite memory uh, of John, or a favorite John story? Well, I don't know. Uh, I, I went and visited him in Texas four years ago. That's that picture right there on the wall behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, we had fun. We went to uh, to Garrow's in Austin. Uh, we saw a show there. We saw a friend of mine, uh, Tony Scalzo, with the Texas Tycoon. And uh, we had a good time that day. Uh, I, was, I was in San Antonio. I'd driven there from San Antonio because uh, Austin's not that far. And I talked to John and he said, come on up for lunch, you know. And I was there for a week anyway. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we had a good time. And that was the last time I saw him because uh, he didn't. Well, no, wait, no, he came back and visited one time. Since, yeah, long. right, and, and, and the year after. So, one of the last times I saw him. You know. But um, I didn't hang out all, you know, at, back in the 80s, I knew him and all that, but, but not as well as Chris. I, you know, I didn't hang out daily or nothing. Right. We used to go see him, uh, you know, when uh, when he'd come visit either Doug or Russell or Tom. You know, I'd be around. Well, John was, you know, one of my crowd. Right. Tom was Tom. Tom was your crowd. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You can have him. Andrew, what are... Can you name three things in common that you had with Tom? What, what were three loves that you shared uh, music, together? Music. Music. Uh, Tom was an excellent guitar player. Oh, yeah. And I have some clips of, his, of him here and on Christmas. He came to visit... And uh, and me, Chris, and Lewis, Lewis Sid, are playing in this room. And we made a video. Yeah. And John was playing. He was real good. Yeah. And good. As a yeah. matter of fact, I remember that. I'm we sorry used to, to jam. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry to interject. Well, Chris was here too that day. I'm sorry to interject, but this is a cool story. You, you know, no, I actually, I and I just want to make a little note for myself on here. Um, check the uh, to include the. YouTube video that you guys oh, made. Okay, yeah, there's a link. There's a link there. Well, uh, what I was going to say. That's just a little note to myself. Yeah. I'm sorry to interject, but what I was going to say was the fact that I remember when he was talking about John coming down here and we were sitting here jamming and it was uh, John, him, Lewis, myself, and John started, we were all playing for a while and then John grabbed the guitar and started playing. And then everybody stopped, and we were just watching the dude. And if you look on the video, you'll see that everybody just stops what they're doing, except Andrew, of course, who stepped and kept playing an irritating <laughs> rhythm the whole time. But uh, well, not as irritating as yours. Uh, no, I, I wasn't playing anything at that point. I was watching. But the when band. you play, it was, was irritating. Dude. Yes, yeah. it was bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so besides music, what, what was music, two other loves uh, 
Going you like should. on tour, going, you know, going, uh, uh, seeing bands and stuff. We had that in common. Um, you know, I don't know, love for life, things like that, you know. <laughs> Do you think John had a love for life? Sure, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He always, uh, uh, you know, even when he had hard times and made mistakes, he, uh, came back from it and did better. What is your favorite piece of artwork that you've seen that he's oh, done? I like when he did, uh, Lewis has it, uh, it's a, a guy in a bucket going over the edge, like an abyss, you know, from a Grateful Dead, uh, uh toe post, he's he's on, on might bucket. be going to hell in a bucket, yeah, it looks like Bill Lash paddling, uh, uh, you know, the bucket. Over, over, going, over yeah, a that was cool. I have it. And great. he made a bunch of those. Yeah. And he made other ones. Oh, I like that one. I like that. That was yeah. a great piece of art. Yeah. And Lewis still has, has one of those. He still has oh, one. really? Yeah. I want a friend of that. Man. He still has one. I don't want a friend of that. Dude, seriously. Yeah. That was, dude, that was, well, take I a remember. picture of it. And you'll dude, have I made copy. money for gas to go to the next show by selling prints of that. Or copies of it. I yeah. guess you could have made a buck or two for each one. Hell right? yeah, dude. And I made, you know, I made gas Oh, you down. have a couple of nice ones that he gave you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm waiting yeah. on my question. I know exactly how I'm going to answer it. Yeah. So, I can tell you, yeah, man. My favorite piece of art, but Frank's Zappa was drawing. He drew me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
we got there at like two in the morning. And or you know, well, that's how you used to buy tickets. You just we go went, online and we we went. Went. Yeah, you and had we, to get in a line. You didn't you know, see, say you got uh, you went online on all right. There was no online. Yeah, you were in line. We came out all we And you would stay the night to be like the third or first or second. Yeah, but then if you remember, then they changed it to a draw. They changed it to a draw. Which was not always. Not always. That was near right. First come, first serve. Yeah, but now it's not on Dallas Cowboys anymore. Anyway, we're getting off topic now. Yeah, you don't buy tickets. Yeah, that way. No, it's ridiculous. It's a pain in the ass. Concerts don't cost uh, five and ten dollars anymore. They're twenty, you know, twenty dollars. They cost a hundred, two hundred, yeah. three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, I was talking that uh, I was saying that all of us were very nostalgic. Uh, you know, we listened to the old music. We were well, old classical rock. You know, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Um, it's probably good rock and roll. You know, I, I, I think it would that. be fair to say that, well, I'll tell you a funny John story, but um, uh, you could definitely pick us out of a crowd. Why? Because, you know, there we were with the, you know, with the jeans and the, and the boots or the sneakers yeah, and, the, yeah. and, the, and the concert shirts or the, t you know, tie-dye shirts or oh, there's the, you know, one of the uh, hippie, yeah, hippie, yeah. hippie bunch. Right? And not only that, but all of the music we listened to was at least 10 years old at the time. I mean, at least. Absolutely. You know, me and John, I mean, because I remember John, what, Dylan's favorite band was Pink Floyd. I mean, well, hell, my, 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 they were, they at were the time still my band in the mid-80s. They the were Beatles. 10 years Come old. On, the they Beatles were came out five years, years before I was born. So. <laughs> exactly, right. You know, but back then, it was, you know, and, and actually, we all wore it as a badge of honor that we listened to, you know, actually what would be called good music, and, <laughs> and it was like, listen, I don't care what's popular. I listen to this. <laughs> right. Yeah. But we all have that in common. Oh, we yeah. all like the same music. Exactly. Yeah. If if you if you saw me if you can picture in your mind me thirty which is no, I thirty do, years actually, ago, I, I mean do you even hear that come out of my mouth? Yeah. 30, it's her picture in your mouth. I still remember 30, the one that was on the motorcycle that did a wheelie and saw it. Sorry, geez, thanks, Chris. <laughs> hey, it was a funny sight. It man. was a, I had a slipping clutch on that motorcycle. Nobody got hurt. Uh, worst things well, have happened my ass say. got hurt. <laughs> I know, and what an ass it was back then. I mean, come on. Oh, well, not that, oh, come on. Oh, no, Chris, shut that, up. That, You're sinking that. yourself. Man. No. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, so if you were to describe me back then to somebody who didn't know me, and John and I as a couple, what would you, what would you say? I was describing you to who? To whoever. To, uh, to, can be describing me to Andrew. Uh, me you... and me and John and me and John as a couple. When, when you were together? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, well, actually, actually, it was it was kind of a, an odd mismatch. It really... You really think so? Yeah. In yeah. what way? <clears throat> the fact that John was more of a, like, you know, he was a freak. <laughs> I mean, a freak freak. Well, I mean, elaborate. There freaks, elaborate. And then there was freak freak. And... You know, you're the freak that would put, like, stable and whatnot. Whereas John was the unstable freak, like myself and a bunch of us. And, uh, yeah. It, so, so a, what, so, and I, of course, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but what, what were you like, the hell, is she babysitting him? Is she taking care of him? Is she... Hmm. Hell no. I mean, we were all, you know, we were slapping him a hot five, low five, Dave Clark five. Man, dude, you got a hot girlfriend, <laughs> man. I mean, come on. 
But when you said that we were mismatched, you... Well, not mismatched, sorry. That's from, that's a harsh term, actually. No, no, that's a harsh term. Actually, it was actually a funny thing. We used to well, no, 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 because if you, if, like you said, you're a freak, but you're a normal kind of freak. John's a freak freak. Well, no, I included myself in the well, John category. Well, that's fine. That's funny. You don't have to put disclaimers in. I'm just... I'm, I'm just no, I'm trying I'm, to get at something. Like, well, no, okay, yeah, yeah. What differences did you see between us that made us differ? What, but just like the whole the whole stability thing. Stability in what way? Well, just I mean mentally stable. Mentally stable because uh, uh, and well no actually no the best way to be put would to put it would be uh uh more like more. Real life okay. oriented. Okay. A lot That's of us a good explanation. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I was I was struggling with that agree. one there. Yeah. So I was trying to figure out the best way to explain it. Real life oriented. Whereas some of us were like, you know, the you know, our own universe oriented. And John was one of those. And God bless him, man, because I am too. Uh, no, absolutely. I, 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 I think John was I would have given anything if I could have just for one minute gotten inside his head to know what he was thinking and what he was feeling. And what I mean by that is, is here's this, you know, here's this, this wonderfully talented individual that could either go into business for himself with his artwork or teach. Or, you know, be a famous rock star. I mean. I, I I I would hold more into teaching and going into business well, or, either way. I mean, or either doing talent, commercial art or whatever he was it was. Very talented individual. You know, here's someone who's I would I would have given my left arm to be able to have that talent. That is something yeah, that I've be, always, always wanted to be able to do. Was yeah. to just sit down and draw and draw and draw. And have it be and, perfect and, then, and intricate and, then pick, and, up a, and then pick up a guitar and shred exactly, away. No, exactly. That's incredible. So those are some pretty amazing gifts, but on the other hand, you I had this person who who didn't focus, seems like didn't want to grow up. The other half of him is trying to grow up. You know, I always saw concentrated efforts at that one particular go in time um for example after before his first good john visit back in 2012 um he was going to be doing this program for the hearing impaired did you, do you remember what i'm talking about no okay I mean, he just had a plan, a plan yeah, no, about know, staying straight, a plan um, about getting a job, a plan you about, you know. But that's exactly why I want to keep that going, and I'm not looking at myself, but that, that's the sad thing, you know, addicts and stuff like that, they always have a plan, and they're going to do it tomorrow, and that's the way it was. I mean, it's like, hey, I got this great idea. I'm going to do this tomorrow. And, you know, that's just the way it works. Procrastination. Well, just, you know, they know what they want to do, but, but the something, intent, takes you, something takes you over, though. The I intent is them. genuine. Oh, no, the intent is genuine, but, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the uh, no uh, results. The the flesh is willing, but the spirit isn't able, or you know, vice versa, or you know, whatever. However you want to put it. Um. Do you remember uh, the um, Nancy Reagan? Just say no. Oh no, God! That was the downfall of that and AIDS, or what I remember about the AIDS. Man. I mean, many of them are great. It's not like this. <laughs> no, I was, talk I was talking about, man. <laughs> I, 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 
versus having okay, so a, a Nancy Reagan and a or what? No, no, no. no. It wasn't and Huey Lewis. Just say no. And oh, just say no. Right. So really fuck me up. <laughs> just three words. Just fuck me up. Just uh, say no. Do you remember those? Um, they handed out those. Uh, Buttons at school, just say oh, no. Absolutely. And like as a joke, we went through with the liquid paper, and we would white out the, the just say no, and would write in yes, and we'd wear them around. Nobody bothered with that. I never, I never, that. I never, I never that did that. That was for other people. We didn't bother with that shit. The program right. was, no, we was, it was, a, it. was a complete it was failure. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. was, it, you know, propaganda. But to be to be quite honest, I did cry at Nancy Reagan. I watched the funeral. Uh -huh. If anybody benefited from that program, it was a small majority of people. But overall, it was a huge failure. Uh, God bless the First Lady. Well, forget about that. What about selling a bombs? Uh, to Iran. <laughs> well, it, 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 the whole <laughs> administration was a disaster. Hey, That's just one not, little one little piece of I, I, it. Yeah, no, the I Reagan know. administration no, nearly wrecked the country. Yeah, you're going just like Bush. I, I, I see Bush okay. almost we finished right the job. Along. Yeah, right. the, the, the All Republicans being, are they're, 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 they just want to tear the country down. That's it. The point being, yeah, the. <laughs> Don't go there. Yeah. Okay, who, John was in, who was influential during our time? The people that we idolized, right? Jimi Hendrix, Janis mm. Joplin. Well, they were dead already. Yeah, John. but we liked them. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. point being, okay, so you have who? John Bond, Bond Scott. Dan also. They all uh, yeah, they were I all said dead. John Bond. You mentioned right? the dead guy. Yeah. Oh, these are all the dead people. Yeah, you Jim Morrison. You mentioned right. the dead guy. Okay. Yeah. The point being, Except what I was trying to get at is those very every few single one idols, of them. Good ones, those red, not Billy Idol. We had no Jim Morrison. We had Billy Idol. We had a, that's that's what, that's, We got ripped off. That's what pisses. The, the, the point. The point was. The point was. If our idols couldn't prevent us from doing drugs. They were Billy doing drugs. They were all. They were the ones that, that you look at Billy Idol. Look at him. He looked like a, a junkie. He, he was. He was. Major, major, <laughs> it was very pop. Cocaine was very big in the I'm 80s. Talk, very, very big. I'm talking about he was, he got the rock Thailand. stars. Oh, oh yeah, they died. were. They were even bigger. If than that wasn't enough to deter us. We're uh, using drugs. No, so that made it more what? cool. It made, made it more it cool. cool. That's right. what it was. Right. My point being is, it... why would you think that Nancy Reagan, no, you know, no, just say no was well, going to work if that wasn't enough? Nobody thought it was going to work. I mean, come on. It didn't I mean, mean nobody thought think. it would. When you but it justified their position was to just jail people, mostly black people, and throw them in jail, when you know, for crack. When you heard Nancy, when you when, a, when your average 15 year old kid who's thinking about smoking pot, he pictures Nancy Reagan on one side, or he pictures he Led Zeppelin yeah, on right. the other, well, what, you know, what are you going to do? You never even thought about her. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no brainer, man. Yeah, I mean, a joke. Hell, a you got 47, I'd go with Zeppelin. Yeah. It was a joke then, and it's a joke now. Okay, so you have no, you, you can't uh, think of a, this for Andrew, a really funny John story that you love to tell. Like, hey, John, remember the time that you. Well, I remember the time we went in Orlando, we were there, because Harry was, I think, was also there. This other guy was, wasn't so funny because of uh, what John did, because what, okay. what Harry did. Because Harry was all drunk and, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, just being with him, you know. Uh, so what did he do? Oh, uh, he he uh, he farted so bad that he didn't just clear out the the hotel room we were in, which had like ten people in it. He the people next door got out of their uh, <laughs> hotel room. They like what happened? You know what? Did did somebody spill a, ba a barrel of shit? You know. <laughs> 
Okay, and I take it this wasn't a bad intestinal and then, leftovers in the restroom. This was actually no. Harry was known to have to be yeah have bowel problems. Okay, I definitely wouldn't be sharing. Oh, but that. yeah, well, oh, everybody Harry was in the hallway, and we came back like 15 minutes later. Well, no, you can't. You can't. It's too soon. It's too soon. <laughs> I mean, it was like bad. Yeah, that was fun. The people weren't. I was like, no way. You know, it's gotta be gone. You know. <laughs> yeah. Because we were all sleeping in one hotel room. Like, but that's not really a John story. Well, well John was, was there. there. Yes. Yeah, Everybody it's... was there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, was there. yeah. Chris was there. Chris yeah. was there. Uh, Matt. Everybody. Russell, I think. Yeah. yeah Russell was there. Harry. Yeah. Oh, the time. Oh, yeah. Tell the Mavis story. That was John. Oh, yeah. John could tell a story about me. That was another thing because I got. I impressed John once with the way yes, I the way, the way I dispensed with Tom Roman. Yes, you yeah. Did. At the Orlando yeah. shows, we you know we, we had a room. We didn't have room for Tom. Tom was there, and, and he looked like like you had dragged him behind a car in the rain for two hours. That's how he looked. He didn't look good, and he no. was with Mavis, which was like this four hundred pound woman that had like two kids under each arm. Walking around, you know, it was quite the scene. And they're like, you know, give us a ride to the Georgia border, You're like to a town that's like, you know, like an angry biker. Yeah, and, and we wait. had all been drinking. They were doing that. They were partying, you know, high and everything. And so we're like, no. And they were going to ask everybody, has, you know, and they, think, and they told me to tell them, look, we can't. Right, right. Nobody wanted to tell them, you know, hey, look, we can't help, you know. And they had told them, but they weren't getting they weren't getting the message. And um, so, you know, the way I told them, bluntly, you know, John seemed to like it. Yeah. All right. Well, that was my story. I throw up potato chips right in the middle of it. Okay. I mean, when you're done. I'm, right. I'm trying to be nice. But okay, Mr. Yeah, Comedian. Chris Grizzly. All right. I'm done. I'm and then done. I was going to reach my hand to <laughs> you. <laughs> no, I realized it would be too you hard. Portable. Your hand wouldn't have, you couldn't have reached the one many left. Well, now there's none left. Oh, oh please, no, Dave. Don't, don't, don't edit this. It will be later. Right? I'll buy you a new can of Pringles, dude. I'm sorry, man. Just don't go down. I didn't. And I will pick up the crumbs. I will watch me, man. Now we got gum on this. Hey, come on. Oh my God, I'm fine. Don't get those bags. Well, cool. I have to do what I have. Okay. No, you're throwing potato chips on the floor. Right. No, I'm, I'm taking potato chips here. up off the I floor, can't. dude. Come on, man. Right. Let me just see if I have anything else for you. But we're doing this. It ain't dinner time. Did after the fucking lagoon of fucking spilled beer you left in my room, man. All right, still, we're doing this now, right? If you're hungry, don't get you something to eat. I did. I just grabbed a couple potato chips, man. Can I? Can I ask? Okay. This is a. This is a serious person. A serious person. Well, well, let wait for him to finish eating. Personal question. Oh, it's actually for 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 you. Yeah. And if you don't mind answering, I'm not gonna just say ah, I don't want to talk about this. Um, so obviously, going out and partying is depends on on who you ask terminology as to what it is. Partying to me, you go out, you have uh, a, a, you go out, you have a drink, you get drunk, whatever. Um, smoke weed, whatever you have. Um, were you ever involved in any anything else? Anything like John? Uh, yeah, everybody partied a lot. Yeah, COVID, <laughs> whatever. We did everything. All the time. Yeah. Did you have heroin in common with John? Mm, no, not, I never did heroin with John. Never. But I knew he did it. 
affected it. It never affected my relationship with him, with me, you know, with him at all. It never did. Yeah. Did it concern you? Well, I mean, when his arms ever... looked like shit, when he had, like, his arm was swollen, I was like, dude, you ought to, got to get that checked out or fixed, whatever. But he did, you know. You know. Yeah, it was concerning to see that, but, you know. And it got better. <laughs> did you think... I suspected, yes, that he could OD. I did what, when he died from OD, I wasn't really... I was very sad, deeply sad, but I wasn't surprised at this. Right. Yeah. You know, I didn't, you know, and it has I to didn't be. think it was like, you know, like, oh, that could never happen to me. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's sad. It's an epidemic. It's very sad. Yeah. Right. Does it seem like you can relate to that state of mind of being so addicted to something? Well, yeah, because um, I've been addicted to other things. Yeah, I have really bad, and then but I stopped it. I just helped a friend to an addiction uh, get to get over it. Yeah, just recently. So you time. help a friend, you, you yeah. did it yourself too. He did it. He he needed. He couldn't get. Uh, he couldn't go to a rehab because he didn't have the money, and uh, and uh, the doctor didn't really want to do it. He, he just he had to do it at home. And it's like, it was an opioid, but it's not heroin. But it's just as bad, almost worse. He said he'd quit heroin, and this was worse. And uh, so, yeah, just recently. What oh, was it? I don't even know the name of it. Some weird uh, opioid that you, 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 uh, he got it online. It's not, it's not licensed in the United It's one of these drugs you can get on the internet, and he got it, and it says, have it for me, watch out. And, and it, yeah, it makes you feel really good for a while, and, but then he, it's, yeah, it's like heroin. It's like heroin, but it's not heroin. Right. It's an opiate, and not some other, you know. And somehow, they you can get it online. You call them up, and it, the, the envelope's there, and like day after tomorrow, you know. <laughs> so you you feel that you did have issues at one time, and how did you well, I, overcome? I, well, I I like my friend did. It just cold turkey. You just stop. You just do it. You make up your mind, and you just stop. That's it, and it's over. And you feel like crap for three days, four days, a week, however long it is. And then you get better, you feel better, and that's it. But you did it on your own. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it on my own. No. With no help. With no help no at all. Unsupervised. No. 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 Yeah. But see, I was in, I'm never addicted to heroin. Yeah. You know, and I've never been. Super like alcoholic either, you know. When you those, yeah, you probably need help, you know. You know. But like pills, you know. Yeah. So if you can say you know. I'm an addict and I want to quit, and I ask you, Andrew, what would you, what would be your yeah, advice I, to I me? I really you, want to quit. It's in my mind. I would say stop telling me and do it. Don't tell me. Tell me I quit. Don't tell me I'm gonna quit. Say, tell me after you did it. Make up your mind and do it. You know, don't talk about it. You know, if you need help, I'll, you know, if you're talking about it to ask for help, okay. But if you're going to do it, do it. And then if you don't make up your mind, like with cigarettes or something like that, if you're doing it, like, because another reason, your friend, your family, whatever, you're not going to do it. You're not, you, you, you won't, it, it will be a lot harder. You have to do it because you want to do it for yourself, or else it won't it won't work. And if you do it, once your mind is made up, then it'll happen. It'll happen. Let me get him out of here. That was it. Yeah. I'm getting too intense for Chris. All right, let's see. Well, we've got a lot of stuff. They'll be, able, they'll be able to view, to use, I'm sure, some of it. But I wanted and to ain't a movie about that, us. I would think that right. this is going to be a little part of something. It is. You know, it is. Right. And, and they're not going to take up 20 touch, minutes with us. I didn't even. It'll be like a five or ten minutes. No, it's a little blurred. Yeah. It's going to be a if little blurred through the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Well. That's what I figured. Like I said, we have. We still, lot, we still have a lot. We still have tons, tons to go. 
bugs to go. We've only barely broken the ice, so we're good. No, cool. it's cool. No, I mean, like you said, get as much Andrew as you can while we're here. Andrew, right. Hey, 